Hi everyone, I invite you to watch the latest episode of a series of videos related to using TerraWord to create a high detail environment for use in a military simulator. The purpose of making this series of videos was to show each of the capabilities of TerraWord software in order to create an environment with high detail. We also learned from the most basic steps such as selecting the favorable location to the last steps, such as editing the created scene. In this video, we will also learn how to add a game object to the scene. For this purpose, I chose a very practical and well-built asset, which happens to be available for free in the Unity Asset Store. Note that there are many other options for this objective in the Asset Store. All you have to do is download and import this asset in the main project or in a new one. Now, if you have it installed in a new project, you need to import the favorable prefabs into the main project. Next, go to the prefabs folder and drag the game prefab file into the main scene. After setting its position on the terrain surface, by going to game mode, we will check the result. As you can see, the scene is not fully visible and needs to be re-examined. The reason is the presence of two main cameras in the scene. To solve this problem, in the hierarchy section, first delete the scene main camera and then select the game prefab main camera. Then we change its settings in the inspector section. Note that the camera tag must be set on the main camera. In the next step, we delete two components related to the post-processing from the game prefab camera. To complete this process, all you have to do is go to the VFX tab and click the on button. This allows TerraWord to automatically create a new post-processing component on the camera. To see the applied changes, we check the scene in game mode again. The post-processing problem has been fixed, and the only thing left is to change the far clipping plane parameter of the camera. I increased this option to 20,000. Now you can increase it up to 200,000 depending on the size of your map. This increases the camera's field of view to a distance. If necessary, you can apply more settings to your character. Here I only adjust the height of the character and leave the rest as default. This makes the interaction of the character with the environment look more natural, but changing the parameters is entirely a matter of taste.
Next, by opening the project settings window from the Unity menu and for higher performance in the scene, we slightly reduce the shadow distance option, as well as the LOD bias. Making these changes will have a significant impact on the scene performance. Now, to improve the quality of light and shadows in the scene, we select a lighting window from the Unity Rendering sub-branch. Click on the New Lighting Settings option, and after creating it in the project, name it and finally activate the Auto Generate option. This process is a bit time-consuming, but the result will be very impressive. Here, I will decorate the scene in a tasteful way, using the materials and prefabs in the Dark Tree FPS project, which we installed in our project at the beginning of this video, as well as the editing tools. Note that, as you saw in the previous videos, by changing the Unity Standard Shader to the TerraUnity Standard Shader, you will be able to use the features in the TerraWord Shader. All defaults in this attractive asset, such as weapons, targets, as well as how to interact with NPCs, are pre-designed, and just drag and drop them prefab in your scene. Now for navigating NPCs on terrain surface, it is necessary to create navigation in the project by referring to the AI window and clicking on the navigation option, this can be done. I have already implemented this process in the scene, so you can see the result. Note that this process will be time-consuming. You can also adjust how NPCs are positioned on the ground. Here, an offset value is required to achieve the ideal result. At this stage, it is time to introduce the player tab in TerraWord. By drag and drop the game object you want in the target section, you can adjust how your player interacts with all the objects in the scene. 
In this section you can bypass objects with collider or activate them in the scene. For example, if the object is in bypass mode, game object will pass through it, while in convert mode, it will detect the physics of the object. Our process in this section is over. Now I want to make the environment more attractive by adding other items to the scene, so let's have some fun. In the following, I will share scenes from the demo made using the set of tutorials with you, hope you have enjoyed the result. We will release all the source codes and content to TerraWord users as a demo scene soon. In addition, the free download link of this demo is available to the public in the description section. Until later.